Okay, first thing to do when making a UV exposure box or any project which involves a lot of LEDs is to test them. And and this is well, this is the little rig I've I've, I've um, thrown up to test the LEDs. Um, I'm lighting them in groups of eight um, with uh, two current limiting resistors per group uh, on a linear voltage regulator for all of them. This I can draw about an amp through this thing and I've worked out that each group of eight is drawing one sorry 0.16 amps and at 9 volts that means uh, there's a wattage um, requirement of 0.92 watts for each current limiting resistor which is why I've doubled them up because each of, those, each of these resistors are not 0.6 watts so doubled up that should give me 1. Point, um, 1.2 watts um, it's better to be over obviously I mean I should be a little bit more over I should be tripling these resistors rather than doubling them um, but um, that's all I have <laughs> I'm low on resistors at the moment so um, I'm getting away with just using two that they're, they're warm but you know I've, I've, I've made projects before with you know with current limiting resistors that have got much hotter um, the the um, the voltage regulator though that's getting quite hot um, so I think I'll use one voltage regulator per four groups of LEDs so um, just just to keep the keep the heat down on this unless ah, maybe maybe I can pop along to RS or something this weekend and and get some heat sinks to, to fix on there um, because at the moment there's about uh, I'm trying to remember now what, what I measured the current to be at um, coming through here I think it was something like 520 milliamps so if I was to stick another four groups of LEDs on that one regulator um, I'd be drawing too much current from it and I'll probably burn it out um, Yep, so LEDs are tested, they're working, they're all working fine. I've actually, um, there's a hundred here, and I've actually been given two more. Uh, so I've got a hundred and two actually. But, um, next thing to do is to get all of these soldered onto that. The dreaded strip board. <laughs> so hopefully after making this, um, exposure box, I won't have to do anything more with strip board anymore. Um, unless, you know... Just prototyping, but for final projects, um, then I'll have my own PCBs. Um, this is just going to be a quick and dirty project, by the way. Um, I'm not going to pour loads of uh, time into this. Um, I'm only going to be using a hundred or so LEDs, and it's not going to be a massive exposure box. Um, I'm going to get it all to fit in this. Uh, this is the enclosure for an optical drive of a PC. Um, it was a Blu-ray writer, so I, I ripped it open for the for the Blu-ray laser modules inside, um, and all of other bits and pieces like motors, um, that sort of thing. Uh, but I kept the enclosure because I, I thought that would make a good uh, a good exposure box. If I if I cut a hole out of the top, put the put the board on the bottom. Uh, so the LEDs could shine up through the hole in the top. I've got a bit of um, I've got a bit of perspex, a bit of see-through plastic um, to glue over the hole and to expose the board through. Uh, but this shouldn't take long at all. I'll have it done by the end of this weekend. <laughs> 